Jordan Haney with Thoroughbred Engineering and today I'm here with Mayor Bruce Fraley from the city of Berea. We're on this beautiful finished uh, farmer's market pavilion property here in uh, Berea. Bruce, you ready to take a walk? Ready to take a walk. Thanks for being here. Yeah, Bruce, tell me a little bit about what you, why being the mayor was so attractive to you for the city of Berea. Well, I, I grew up here. Of course, I was raised here and I was a public servant most of my life. I uh, worked for the Social Security Administration and when I retired I wanted to carry that into something where I was still serving the public and uh, after serving on the council for a couple of years mayor seemed like the right thing to do so uh, I followed a calling and here I am. So I've, I've spent a lot of time in Berea. What makes Berea so attractive for people to come and visit? Well Berea is, uh, has, is multifaceted. Of course we have Berea College. Uh, we're a fast growing town. We have a growing uh, industrial base. Uh, we have a lot of professional opportunities, small business owners that are very successful. Uh, we have a, we have a, a tourism, we're a tourism town, we have a lot of tourism and a lot of activities and business related to tourism. And then it's one of the most beautiful places on the planet between uh, where we are now and Indian Fort Mountain, our mountain biking trails. Uh, we got all kinds of outdoor activities here. So um, just a special place. So obviously, other than the city of Berea, what's one place that if you wanted to go visit, you would say, this is on my bucket list to go visit? Uh, to go visit, man, that's a tough question. I would say, uh, I'm, I'm gonna rephrase that and say if I ever had to live any place that I'd lived before other than Berea, I would go back to Lebanon, Kentucky because Lebanon, I lived there for about three years and it was like Berea when I grew up. It was a small town where everybody knew everybody, uh, vibrant Main Street and a cool little town. So. That's probably what I would do. So besides, uh, you know, walking around and visiting the things in Berea, what's one of your hobbies that you like to do? Uh, one of my hobbies, I love to fish. I don't take enough time to do it, but that's something I grew up doing. And uh, that's one of those things where I can just leave all my worries behind and just concentrate on what I'm doing. Also enjoy any type of family activity. Yeah. So one last question. The city of Berea seems, you know, you respect the history, but you're also very forward thinking. What's, uh, what do you see the vision for Berea in the next couple of years? Well, I think we need to continue to uh, grow our industrial base and make sure that we're doing our part to provide the type of employment opportunities for today's young people and for future generations where people that want to stay in Berea can stay here and make a living. Uh, but we also need to do that in a balanced way uh, to involve uh, promotion of small business and entrepreneurship and encourage that and also commercial business. You know, you need the healthy balance of all three. So I think in providing for a, a healthy and robust economy, where people can work here, have a good quality of life, and make a good living is what it's all about. Bruce, appreciate your time. You're welcome, man. Thanks for being here.